in today's video we're going to put together a music promo flyer the kind of thing that you'd hand out in the street to promote a concert so to get started we are going to select our canvas size so if you guys come up to your preset over there and we're going to choose a size a5 because that'll be a perfect size for a flyer so if we come over here we want to make sure that we are on portrait you need your dpi at 300 that is very important if you want to print that will give you the best quality and number of pages we're going to have one because we only need the one we're going to turn off facing pages because we only need a single page for this and um, we're just going to ignore the rest of this and once you're ready hit that create button okay once we're inside of affinity publisher we are presented with our canvas in front of us if we head over to the left hand side we have our master pages and our pages the master pages we can ignore for this tutorial we are only making a single page so that is not required so once you're ready just ensure that you have got this lit up blue so we are focused on the page one and we're just going to drag an image into here so if we come over to the left hand side and choose that place image tool so i've put a link in the description for you guys to download this image if you want to use it alternatively you can check out the video i did on affinity photo with designing this where we just used a number of images and we put them all together and added some lighting effects you'll definitely learn some good tips and techniques in that video if you want to create this from scratch but for those of you who don't want to use this image at all you're welcome to bring in your own images okay so once we've got this image in which is going to be our background image i'm going to turn off these blue lines because they drive me nuts when it comes to designing you guys are welcome to keep them on if you want to but to turn that off we're going to come up here and we're just going to toggle that preview mode and then that will disappear okay so the first thing we are going to do is give this a title i'm going to go over to the left hand side grab the artistic text tool with that big a and i'm just going to drag this out and write in our title which i am going to name this annual music festival i think so use capitals Okay, so I'm going to leave that one for the moment. I'm going to separate festival so I can make it a bigger size. That's probably too big already. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. I'm going to copy and paste this to make it quicker. So Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And I'm just going to double click on that one and now change this to festival. And grab that arrow tool again and we can adjust the size of this. And just make that go all the way across the page. And I just want to select both of these now by holding down shift and I want to change the font of these. So we're going to come up here and have a little look at what we've got. If you guys see a font I'm using that you don't have, just go on to Google and search it. I'm pretty sure it will be free to download. And I quite like that one. It's just very simple. So I'm going to stick with that one okay so the next thing we are gonna do is let's give it a little bit of style so i think i'm gonna set both of these again with that holding down the shift button i'm gonna change it to white and then i'm gonna come into the effects just down here at the bottom and i'm gonna put an outer glow on this and for the outer glow color i want to go with a purple i think so i'm just going to choose this color section right there i'm going to find myself a nice bright purple Possibly that one, we'll give that a try and just change the radius up on here just to really have that stand out. So I think that's looking okay already. So as well, we could put a drop shadow on this. So let's go to outer shadow and we're going to give this a radius and an offset of 10 pixels and hit enter. And that is fine. So we're just going to move this now into place. I'm going to try and line that up there. And I think I'm going to make that a little bit shorter around there. I think I'm happy with and could possibly bring it down just a little bit. This is up to you. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to select both of these by holding down command and I'm just going to move this up to roughly where I want to put it. I don't want it in the center. I want it roughly, I think around here. Because underneath here, I want to have like an artist section of some of the bands that will be playing. So we'll leave that the way that is at the moment. But we're going to add a bit more design element to this. 
we're going to come over and grab our rectangle and we are just going to draw a rectangle behind this here it'll sit on top of it at the moment but we'll move it in just a moment so we're going to change that to black and we can take off the stroke that's not important and we're just going to drag this all the way on top of the image and we're just going to bring the opacity down on this one until you can see it's still there but you can see the picture underneath it so around 30 i think is probably a good number and then we're just going to reposition this so let's grab that move tool up there and it's going to make this a little bit smaller and i think i want this v to slightly stick out of it so i'm going to zoom in and i'm just going to bring this up that little bit more maybe something like that and then bring that down this is up to you if you want to do this you can stick to it the way it was it's perfectly fine and the command zero to zoom back out again so i'm quite happy with the way that is looking at the moment i might bring in the glow just a little bit maybe it's just a little bit too extreme so that's 24.9 we're not going to have to do this manually on the other one because it wouldn't do them both at the same time so we just come back to our outer glow and just paste, paste that number back in sorry just to keep that same one that we already had and command zero again to straighten that up so yeah, that's looking pretty good so far. So next thing we need on here is kind of a date and the place at the top where this is going to take place. Okay, so what we want to do now is bring in a date up here and the place that this will be happening. So we'll go and grab our artistic text tool once again and just drag that out. A bit strange why that's just changed fonts. But that doesn't matter, we're going to change it anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to put in 2021 and change this font to something bold. Let's have a little quick look at what stands out on here. There we go, the impact right there will do. If you guys don't have it, just go and download it. And what I wanna do now is kind of resize that a little bit to what I'm going for. So I'm quite happy with that general size there, even maybe a little bit bigger. But what I do want is this gap is too big for me. I want this to kind of join together and maybe merge into each other. So to address that, we just need to come over to our character section. If you guys aren't seeing this up here, go up to your view menu, down to your studio, and make sure you've got character checked. And once we go inside this character section, we need to pay attention to this box underneath the one that says auto. So there are two ways that we could do this. We could put these numbers in manually, but that could take you ages figuring out what size you want to do. So another way is if you guys have got a magic mouse or you've got a mouse with a scroll wheel, just move it up and down in the middle and it'll start to adjust the size in or out, just like that. So it's gonna bring that in just to what kind of effect we're going for. For me, I want it all to join together, so I'm quite happy with that there. That's pretty good, that's definitely what I want. So if you guys are happy with that as well, we'll just come off that and maybe resize it is a little bit big, down to perhaps that size. And what I wanna do now is follow this same kind of effect we've got down here. So we can cheat with doing this. We could click back on this festival. We're gonna hit Command C for copy. We're gonna come back up to this 2021. We're gonna come over to the edit menu at the top and we're gonna go on paste effect. And then it just copies what we've got over there. But the problem with this is because it's a different font, it's gave it slightly brighter and bigger out, outer glow. So we're just gonna come in and adjust that quickly. Just click on that effect and we'll just bring the outer glow radius down to something we're more happy with and looks a bit more subtle. So that is okay for me, 25.7 if you guys want that. And the shadow is also a bit far out now, so we'll adjust that while we're in here. And I think we'll just go for 20 and 20 and hit that enter key. And I think that'll do that is fine. So I'm quite happy with that. Maybe it is still just that little bit too big. So I'm gonna bring it down to roughly there. And the next thing I'm going to do is just bring in a couple of lines over here, which we'll put in dashes and we'll put our information inside of where this will take place, the arena and so on and the date. So first of all, let's go and grab our pen tool and we're just gonna start drawing a couple of points. So we'll put one here and we're just gonna come over here and if we hold down the shift button, it'll give us that straight line all the way across and just put that there. 
And once we've done that, we're just gonna go back to our arrow tool and we can just come and select that curve. And we're gonna give that a stroke of white. We're gonna adjust the size of this stroke to make it a lot bigger than what it currently is. So I think around five, maybe five. Now I'm gonna go a bit smaller than that. Four is good. I'm just gonna change that cap there to be a butt cap so our end bits are straight rather than curved, just like that. And just gonna click back on there a moment. And I wanna change this to dashes. So we're gonna do that with a dash line style right there. And that should be good enough. So if we come off it, and we're just gonna pay attention to the end here because it's cut off halfway through it. So just gonna zoom in quickly. Click back onto this. And if we just drag it out slightly, it'll bring the rest of that dash in. And then that will work. Let's just zoom out a little bit. And once again, we can just come down here. We're gonna copy that effect with Command C and do the same as we did before up to edit and paste effect just to copy it onto that itself. And then once we've got that, we can move this into place using the arrow keys are probably the easiest option to line this up. So roughly around there. And if we hit Command C and Command V to make a copy of that, we hold down Shift and use our arrow down button just to make another copy and move it down the bottom to roughly where we want it and just try and line that up. You can drag guides and if you wanna do this perfectly guys, but I just wanna be quick with this just to show you how easy it is. So that will do just a demonstration. So inside here now we're gonna have our information of where this will be located. Okay, so go over and grab our artistic text tool and we're just gonna start writing in some information here. So we'll start off with the day that this will be taking place, which we'll put as Saturday. And we'll just put April 3rd, that will do just quickly. And underneath this, I think we'll have where it's gonna take place, which I live in the UK. So the one that is the most popular for us is probably the O2 Arena in London. So I'm gonna go with that one. So I'm gonna put the O2. And if you bear with me a sec, guys, I'm just going to go and get this address off Google and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I quickly jotted this down. I'm just going to write it in. Okay, so once we've got this written, what we want to do now is just change the font of this. I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to resize it and then change the font after. So there's a full address. So I'm just going to find something else that I like now in here. And I'm going to go for maybe that there. Quite like that. It looks kind of something you would have. And I'm just going to drag that out just to try and fit it a little bit better than what it was. Let's see if we can move that up and sit it just inside of those lines using the arrow keys. So I'm quite happy with that. I think it looks okay. And once again, we're just going to copy that same effect and apply it to that one. So copy with Command C and come up here to edit and paste effect. And once again, it's a little bit bright. So we're just gonna have to manually just adjust that back to the outer shadow, bring down that radius to make it a little bit more subtle. And that is okay. And we'll do the same for the shadow. Let's bring that down to 10, I think on this one. And that is perfectly fine. So it's already looking pretty good. If you guys think this is too big, we can bring this down just a little bit in size and just readjust it to however you want to put it, but I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to put a featuring list down here with some artists. So we're just going to perhaps copy that. So Command C, Command V, and we're just going to write in featuring. It's going to resize that. It's something more manageable and looks better. So we're going to keep that centered. I'm going to bring that up to roughly around there. And what we also want to do being a flyer is social media is obviously a very big part in today's society. So we need to grab a couple of logos so that we can drag in here. And you just find them on Google. If you just go into Google and you put in, for instance, Facebook PNG, you'll be able to find a logo that you can just drag in. 
So I'm just going to quickly go and do that myself and drag them in and we'll just go from there. Okay, so I've gone over and found some on Google, but unfortunately they are black, but we are going to change them to white in just a moment. So a PNG file generally means that it's a graphic with no background. So you guys just make sure you search for Twitter PNG and Facebook PNG, and then just literally drag them into the application, or you could just bring them in with the place image tool. So once we've got these in the program, if you guys weren't successful getting them in white, we just gotta bring them in as black. I'm going to come over here and we're going to put an effect on it and we're just going to come down to the color overlay and straight away that's gone white as you can see so we can just ignore that and just do the same on the Twitter logo just turn on that color overlay and now we've got two white ones and we're just going to zoom back out now these are too big for what I'm going for so I'm just going to select both of these by holding down shift I'm going to move them down here I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to resize them roughly to the same size as that text. So I'm just going to line it up so I can just generally get an idea. And just hold down shift as well, guys, to keep that proportion. So about that size there. And just bring down that head to match up with the E. And that should be fine. So if I bring over the Twitter there and try and line him up on that side. It has dropped a little bit, so I'm going to bring that up with the arrow keys. And I'm just going to move it over with the arrow keys as well. So I'm just going to put it there for the moment. I'm going to do the same over here with the F. And just drag that over. And then once you're happy with where you've got them, we're going to select both of these just by holding down Shift. And we're just going to move this over just to try and line this up correctly. If we get ourselves a guide and put it in the middle of this, we'll be able to find it. But I want to be quicker. So I'm quite happy with just leaving that the way that is at the moment. I think it's slightly bigger gap there than it is there. So if that is bugging you, then just simply move them across a little bit. Until you find what you're happy with. So I'm just going to leave it like that just so I don't spend too much more time on this. And it's going to zoom back out a little bit. And I want the same effect on these that we've got on there. So if we just come over and copy that effect again. The difference this time is because we've already put an effect on it, this white might disappear, but we'll just put that back on after. So go up to edit, paste effect. See they've gone black again like I thought they would have done. So we're just going to go back onto this effect and reapply that color overlay and just make sure it is white. And the same on that one. Back to the color overlay, change it to white. And we are back to square one. So that is okay. And just zoom back out again. So all that is really left to do now is we're going to give it some artist names down here of who would be at the concert and maybe just a couple more design elements and then this is generally finished. So a couple more minutes guys and this will be done. So I'm just going to grab that annual music. I'm just going to copy, I'm going to paste, I'm going to drag that down here. I'm just going to edit this instead of me putting in all different random artist names. I'm just going to simply write artist name in here, but you guys can fill this out however you like. And that font is definitely too big at the moment, so I'm just going to resize that. And that's probably better for me. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. That's a little bit strong now because we shrunk it on the glow, so let's go in and just change that a little bit. Let's bring that down. And same with the shadow, we'll bring that into perhaps four pixels now on both of these. And that will do just fine. So once we've got this here, I'm going to maybe try and keep that in line with that F. Bring it down to where you want to place it. And what we're going to do now is just make a copy of this one. So Command C, Command V to paste. And I'm going to paste this another two more times. So we've got four all together. So command V and command V. And then what I want to do is come over here and hold down shift and select all of these four that we just did. Then we're going to come up to the alignment option just up here on the right hand side. And we're going to go on the horizontal right there on the end. And we're just going to turn off the auto and we're just going to adjust this to a rough spacing that we are happy with. So for me, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to apply that. Then I'm just going to snap this into the center and find that green line in the center of the document right there. And then just move that roughly where we want it. 
And at this point, we're just going to make a copy of this now. So we hit Command C and Command V. And it's going to bring this one down to roughly the spacing that you're happy with. And just keep that central like we did before. And I think something like that spacing will be okay. And we're going to make another copy of this. So Command C and Command V. We'll bring that one back up. And just try and space that evenly between them. This time we're going to delete one. So we'll delete that one right there. And if we select all three of these by holding down shift at the same time, we can just snap that into the center and just give that a better kind of effect. This isn't perfect alignment. You guys can do this if you want to. So we're going to command C to copy, command V to paste again. And we're just going to bring that one down and try and get roughly the same there. And that is generally it for that. We can make this text bigger if you want to. So if you want to just grab that first one, hold down shift and grab that last one. You can make that text a little bit bigger if you like. That's entirely up to you. I think I liked it the way it was, so I'm going to go back. But you can move this either up or down the page. Maybe go a little bit further down towards the bottom. And also just move this down as well. Select all three of these with shift. And just bring that down a little bit more. Make sure that is centered. And something like that is fine so it was zoom out and that is looking pretty good to be honest so i think the final touches of this now which you kind of get with most music festival brochures or flyers is you kind of get some random shapes just stuck on here so if we just go and get maybe a rectangle and let's just drag this out and we still got our dashes here which we had up here so we need to go and turn that off first so come back up to your stroke section and go back over to your line. So we've got that solid line once again. And I'm going to change this join here to a mitre join. So it's completely straight on the corners. And now I'm going to turn off the fill. So all we've got is the stroke itself. I'm going to just move this around roughly to where I want it. But first I want to move it to the back. So let's drag this all the way down until we are sat on top of our background image. So right there. And then I just want to give us a little bit of a curve. And just going to make this bigger. Hold down shift to keep that proportion. And roughly move it into place the way you're going to want it. So I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller when it comes to down here. So maybe around there. Kind of framing her if you know what I mean. And then with this we're going to stick a out a shadow on that one as well so we could do 20 on the radius and 20 on the offset and i'm quite happy with that shadow in fact i might actually go 10 yeah i prefer 10 so we've got that one there and i think if we just give it another little one so we just copy this rectangle paste it and we just bring that down this time and maybe just swivel that one around that way a little bit and we just kind of put this over the artist name section. So we bring it in around there. I don't really want to crop off the corner. So I'm going to try and fit it in. And it's always good to turn off snapping guys. If it's giving you aggravation like it was there. So it's going to, even if you've got to turn it around a little bit more. And just move it into place to try and get it in the frame. So down there will be fine. It doesn't have to be. This is just me being too fussy. I'm going to drag that across there like that and bring that down like there and I kind of want that feature in to be inside of that box as well so maybe if I just bring it up like that and just curve it around just a little bit more it's a little bit too much on the curve I think Okay, so I think I'm quite happy with that. So let's zoom out. And what do you guys generally think? I think that looks really good. It's something you could definitely print off and you could give out in the street. We've obviously got our date that this is taking place up here. We've got the uh, title for the concert itself and we've got the featured artist names down here. You can make this obviously look a lot better. The spacing definitely isn't correct here in relevance to that side, but this is something you can do yourself. I just don't like to take up too much of your time. So I hope you found this useful and do remember that we created this image here in another video. If you want to go back and do that, you'll definitely learn some good tricks in that video. 
So for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video.